What's up ADT family? Taylor Maris here back with the newest edition of the ADT vlog. That's right. The vlog is back. We're back with a bang and we're coming at you from what will be where I spend half my time starting January 1st at the new facility here in New Braavos. I highly suggest if you're interested in doing any training or working out, come check it out. Come spend some time with me. Speaking of 2017, Here's what I want to talk about our first vlog back. There are going to be a lot of you that go against my wishes and get a New Year's resolution going to start an exercise program. Most of you out there know I hate New Year's resolutions for a few different reasons. But some of you are going to go against your better judgment and make a resolution to get fit anyway. So here's what I want you to do. If you're going to make a re resolution to get fit, what I want you to not do is say, I'm going to start an exercise program in 2017. That's the biggest mistake most people make. Simply by saying you're starting an exercise program, you're sabotaging your success. It's why 8 out of 10 people that start exercise programs don't finish them. Or within 60 to 90 days, quit. See, an exercise program it is, is going to the gym and, and getting some exercise by maybe taking that cycling class that looks really cool because it was a free class. Or maybe you notice some people do it a few machines over in the corner and they looked easy and you wouldn't hurt yourself. So you just, you just meandered over there and maybe you did a few reps on them, a few sets. You had no idea what the weight needed to be. But in your mind, you were doing a lot of good things, right? Because doing something was better than nothing. And that's true. Doing something is better than nothing. But if you're serious about really hitting legitimate goals, you have legitimate fitness aspirations, simply starting an exercise program is just not going to cut it. So what I want you to tell yourself is you're going to start a training program in 2017. Now let me tell you what a training program is because that's what my clients do. When my clients walk in the gym, in our gym, in this house, they're here for a reason. They're here training for a purpose. They're not going through the motions. They're not here so they can check it off their list and so they can mark it on Facebook that uh, they checked in at all day training. They're there to accomplish a goal. Training means when you walk in the gym, there's a destination that you have, whether it be a month from now, three months from now, or six months from now, and you are working out to get you closer to that purpose. So here's what I want you to do. And if you do these four things next year, your odds of success are gonna go up dramatically. So, number one, you're gonna set clear, concise goals. Now some of you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the old adage, write down your goals, right? Yeah, but most of you don't even know how to write your goals down correctly. When I say clear and concise, I mean, don't say, I'm going to lose some body fat. No, no, no. Set a precise goal for how much body fat you want to lose. Say, I want to perform 10 correct push-ups. I want to run my first Spartan race. I want to do my first CrossFit competition. I want to be able to run an entire 5K without falling out on the ground. These are clear, concise goals. And not only set the goal, but set the date. Research shows if you set the clear goal and you set a date, you give yourself a deadline, your odds of success go up dramatically. So number two, you're gonna start documenting things. I have documentation for all the workouts my clients do. They all have a little composition book. We keep it old school around my gym. It's a composition book where they write down their, their daily workouts, I write down their workouts, and we log the numbers. So that every time you know exactly where you are in your progression. And the same holds true for nutrition. Research shows that when you document your workouts, when you document your nutrition programs, your odds of success go way up. So that's number two. Number three, every time you walk in that gym, you're there for a purpose. Don't ever walk in the gym that day and go, I think I'm just going to poke around and do what I'm comfortable with. Right? I'm just going to do what I know. And just because I'm moving, I'm doing myself some good. In most cases, you're not. Sure, it's better than nothing, but it's not getting you any closer to your goals. So every time you walk in the gym, set a goal. Look at, the, look at what you documented from your previous workouts and say, I'm going to improve on that today even if it's by one rep or one pound. Number four, and this is the most important one, this is the one that sets apart the average Joes from the champions. Attack your weaknesses. See, most of us just want to do what we're comfortable with. We just, we just, if we're good at a particular movement or modality, we just get in there every day and we do that. And most of you out there know exactly what I'm talking about. We do what we know and we do what we're good at. And we continuously do that thinking we're doing ourselves some good. But no, actually what you're doing is you're you're teaching your body to, to have imbalances, right? You're training your body to get really good at these other things so that these asymmetrical uh, problems start popping up. Your odds of injury go up and the likelihood of success goes way down. 
Champions get in the gym and they figure out what it is they need to work on and they attack those things. They're not afraid to stumble and fall. They're not afraid to look silly doing something because they know the end result is worth putting themselves through those really difficult things. So those are my four things. If you do those four things, you're going to end up like what most of my clients are, and that's champions. So get in the gym, follow those four things, and make 2017 a brand new badass year. All right, guys. Happy New Year. Until next week.